So today we are working on our flooring. Okay. Now that we've been in here over a month now, we're starting to pick little things that we want to work on and um, a little differently. So our one of our first things that we're doing is resealing the floors. They were done, however, we just don't feel like it's enough on there. The smoothness is not really what we wanted. So Tamar is sealing the floors room by room. So we did the bathroom yesterday. When I say we, Tamar. So now that Tamar did the, we did our bathroom first to make sure, stop, stop. We did our bathroom first um, as a guinea pig to test it out to see if we actually liked how it looked and we do, we love it. So it's a little, makes it a little bit darker, more shinier, more finished looking. So this actually does have a little bit of shimmer, but we're gonna redo everything just so it's nice and even. It all depends on the finish that's already there on the whatever surface you're putting it on. But depending on the color itself, it, if it has a pattern in there, it's still gonna keep the pattern. It's just gonna shine. You wanna give it at least an hour for it to dry. So let me show you what it looks like in the areas that we've done so far. You can see the shine on it going all the way into the bathroom. And we also did the um, countertop as well, or the sink. So I'm gonna do this area right now. And I'm also going to do the laundry room. So I did clean the floor already, so we're gonna go. And we're just using a simple brush. And Tamar does recommend after doing this, um, maybe buy a bigger brush if you have a big yeah. area. Are you dressed? <laughs> so we finished the bathroom last night, but I didn't do the top. I wasn't going to do it. But now since we have to wait for to do the other rooms, at least we can have one bathroom to shower. Excuse the mess, but here's the, you can see. You see the nice, pretty shine. Oh, and we got our lights up. We got to stain the wood and uh, we're still going to have to redo it because they're not even. So we're going to have to, that's another project on our list. And we still need our bulbs that go right here. Forgot those when we were at Home Depot the other day. It's weird because it looks the concrete looks like it has cracks in it, but it doesn't, you know, you can't, there's no cracks, just the way it looks. You know, and I'm, you notice little stuff like that now when you're in your own house. So I don't know where we were recently and somebody had concrete, like a bathroom as well. And I looked closely and it looks the same. I think it's just how they look. And from this angle, you can see where it was done. Whereas if you look this way, it looks different. So this is the look that we're going for. Wait a second. Someone came here with their shoes on. I can see it. Right there. Who's giving me work? Like crap. By the size of it, it looks like it's my shoes. Huh. What about that? So it's been about a month since we did the floors and I think I can honestly say that we like it. Um, I think first, the f one of the first reasons we like it is because now we feel like we can walk inside the house without our shoes on. Before we felt like we had our, we had to have the shoes on because it almost felt it was dirty. It felt like as you're walking there was something on your feet and, or under your feet so now it's like nice and smooth um, and the floor actually stays cleaner. It's easier to clean and it feels a whole lot better than it did before. Uh, I think the only part where maybe I would have done something different is if you look under the chairs because we moved these in and out and as you're moving it you'll see it leaves marks on the floor so maybe there um, I don't know I don't know what I would have done but either way I still think in general it's a whole lot better and um, it cost us I think $50 um, the equivalent of 50 bucks 
for the bottle and we still only use a half of it to to do the work so i think it was a good job and for the first uh diy mission in the house and uh, there's a lot more to come anyway if you're not a subscriber don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification so you can be notified next time i make a video hasta luego don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below